All right, hello everyone, welcome back to Island Clash. I'm glad to be back on the island and I'm here with a new person in the series. How you doing, Dick? Hey. All right, and basically, I did want to basically explain real quickly why has Island Clash not been back. I posted on the Island Clash forums that I was going to start a marathon Thursday. Obviously, I was horribly mistaken. There's not even a video. So basically, what I decided was because Ray's time was so different than mine, he wasn't really able to be on. I was going to be on solo most of the time. Obviously, I was, I was able to get dig here. But because I'm solo, I want to come on at non-peak times when I don't have to war and I won't get raided. So times like this in the morning where I really won't get raided and times that I can get people on like dig so that way we won't get raided and we have two people on. So Just as I come out of school. Exactly. Just at that perfect time. So the first thing we are going to do, the siege workshop was go ahead and it was undone by Ray. Because um, I actually accidentally placed it in the void, and I um, thought that it would actually, I mean, in the void, what am I saying, in the mountain, and I thought that it would still work, but it did not. So Ray ended up deleting that. He did not delete the bank yet, though. So that is still in the mountain. Gosh dang it, we need to back up more. Why is this such a large building? I don't think that's in the mountain. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Alright, Siege Workshop is building. I have no idea what's actually in it. But hopefully something good. And you can see it just builds. <laughs> That's how Iron Clash does it. So anyway, since we have um very limited time, let's go ahead and look at what buildings. Obviously the wonder is definitely going to be something we want. What is that? Order cost one totem. I wonder I wonder what that is. <laughs> but anyway, to get the next building and even to upgrade our other buildings for the towers. All that. What exactly do we need to do? So I just think we should, we should probably go mining in the mine. That's always a okay. safe place to go. So if you go ahead and click on the clock, I know you haven't done this before, but if you go on the clock, you see the pickaxe there? Um. When you select it, click building management on the armor stand. Uh-huh. Then click the pickaxe for the mine, and then click the eye of the ender. It's complicated at first. I had watched a few videos on YouTube already, so because I, I was gonna start a series, I wasn't gonna go in here and not know what I was doing. But you know, did it work? Uh, I didn't see a pickaxe. Um, you, I'm on player management. Though. Oh, don't go to player management. Click on the building management. Oh. The armor stand. Then click the pickaxe. Uh -huh. Oh. And then the eye oh. of the ender. Okay, okay, so this is the mine here. This is the most common area that we're going to be working. I mean, I know we need more wood. And um, actually, get a stone pickaxe. It's, it's a much better deal because you can mine diamond and gold in here. And it, Oh, you have no gold, don't you? Nope. Uh, let me pay you the 15. Oh, payments are temporarily dis Seriously, payments are temporarily disabled. Okay, that is sad. All right. Can I drop this and give you a pickaxe? Yes, I can. All right. Okay, that's good, yeah. And if you beat the parkour, you get gold. Problem is, it's a speed parkour, so it's difficult. Don't come over here. Come down here. Because mm -hmm. if you come way down, I just want to show you, like, like, if you're on here ever on your own one time, which I highly doubt it, but in case if you are, what I do strategy-wise to get the most resources is I mine this gold block down here. I go to the gold block that's down here, and then I go to the diamond that's over there. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll... I'll I'm going to go ahead and do that pattern, so if you want, what I recommend you do is use this gold block that's up here, mm -hmm. so mine there, then I would think you come back here, probably to the iron, and then come back there for that iron, and then maybe those two, if you have to, and there's an iron up there, so that's what I'd recommend, just find those ores and mine them, gold gives you more than um, the iron does, so I'm going to start down here with the diamond. Okay. And eventually, we just want to work towards upgrades. So what we're really going to aim for right now, we want to get everything maxed. I mean, I know that Conquest is already out. I don't exactly know how to use it yet. I'm hoping to find out. So how do I get gold? Do I, like... Literally, just mine it. I mean, stone pickaxes actually work. It's a strategy I found out. Because the diamond pickaxe is way overpriced. The chances of you not getting raided during that time, too unlikely. And after you get raided, you actually lose the uh, pickaxe that you were using, no matter how used it was. So... Ray is not a huge fan of that, which leaves me often paying him, so I really do need to focus on trying to beat that parkour consistently again. Problem is that'll mess up my regular parkour skills, because it's speed. But anyway, yeah, that was just a quick update video on Island Clash and what's going down, so I gotta go. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Island Clash will be back. Take care, guys.